Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. I'll be doing, uh, basically I'm going to show you the colors that I mixed up in my previous video. I'll put the link up top. And uh, anyway, just making sure you know that these colors that I mixed up actually do work with the Shelly Art Bloom technique. Um, so I'm starting off with the red and the gold. That was uh, Amsterdam red and a uh, Deco Art 24 karat gold. And then I will use a black cell activator. Obviously, my base paint is a Sherman Williams color to go. See, this is one of the first ones I did with this color. And I never finished the set. So, um, But yeah, my pillow is Sherman Williams color to go, tricorn black. Obviously, I take out me blowing out the cell activator. As you see, the, the cells, they form. And you know, I mean, just waiting a little bit and letting the cell activator sink in. And uh, yeah. Pretty much, here's your close-up look of it real quick. I mean, yeah, looks exactly like the other ones. Sadly, I forgot to, uh, you know, hit record when I, before I spun it out. But, yeah, there's a quick look, close-up of it. And we're going to move on to the next one. This one, I'm actually going to do a swipe. What you don't see is I have these little plastic pieces that I have cut out from a... Uh, like a canvas set or whatever I have various sizes and yeah I'm gonna do a little swipe on this one normally what I do is that I either a depending on how many I'm gonna do I will uh, put some of the cell activator on my silicone mat and just kinda of dip it and get it on the little plastic piece or I will just use my uh, mixing stick and just put it on there myself so Either way works. Um, and then just look at the cells as they activate and cr get created. Um, you can use different things like uh, I, I've used business cards, um, paint knives, or whatever, whatever you want to call them. I've done that too. So, but uh, yeah, here we go. Actually, this turned out even better than probably one of my better swipes. I can't really tell. Where the swipes at per se but you know sometimes whenever you do the swipes they they can kind of leave a trace of where you did start the the swipe part of it so yeah and then after that here's your close-up obviously i uh move some paint over to the sides um sorry about me just fast forwarding it through it but you know just quick showing you actually i'm holding the camera on this one spun it out i'll put some black paint on the one corner and here it is here's a close-up of both of those um, yeah I really like that one that one turned out great um, so next we'll move on to the uh, other colors that I mixed up which are the brown colors and the shimmer or I think it was shimmer either way I'll list colors um, on this my white base is a Sherman Williams um, white, it's color go color. Um, actually, my first time using it, so I don't know how well that's going to turn out. But either way, here we go. Obviously, pigments are kind of thinner than normal, so if you do want to thicken it up, you can add a little bit more of the um, what is it? Uh, the the HGTV or the Bear eighty three hundred whichever one like you can do like three parts of the ultra deep base to one part Joe Sonia to kind of give it a thicker substance to it um, but yeah on this one uh, yeah I'm using I'll have to list them again but this is just gonna be a real simple bloom with those colors uh, a lot of people they kind of like the I don't know the uh, earth tone type colors I guess browns and all that so I don't really like dealing with those colors so it is what it is and I try to just forget about it and do it but and see like for this one I think I put too much of that color uh, the TLP color I'm gonna spin it out but I'm more than likely gonna start over on this one and not add as much of that since it kind of does take over the whole the whole tile so 
you don't like that, I'm sorry. I, I just I wanted more of the brown and the darker brown. It wasn't I wasn't going for all this. So here we go again. Again. I really I, I don't I don't know what else to tell you in terms of any tricks or anything on it. Um, best part is, is get your paints all the same consistency, your cell activator, get it that down pat. Um, yeah, I mean, from that, I mean, it's real easy. First, now gathered, I say it's real easy, but I mean, honestly, it, this is me doing this for over a year now. So my first ones didn't look this great. Um, Australian flow trial did help a lot. So if, you, if you're having problems with that, and then, I mean, try to find a place where you can get some to test it. Cause I know it's a little expensive just to try it, but I mean, depending on that, I mean, it, you've probably spent just as much as I have in terms of trying to get it to work out. So see this one came out a little bit better. There's more of the Browns, um, less of the sequins or whatever the this little piggy color is that i'm using um the next one i'm going to use a uh, black base and kind of give you a side by side so here's a close-up of this one again um, i'm i like it um obviously the browns do show up on this so i got what i got and i, and I enjoy that so this one here we go this is a black base one same colors and everything else um, I try to dial it in where you can see, get a little bit of a closer look so yeah here we go you and whenever you're putting your paint down if you see some bigger bubbles try to pop those out because um, if you don't they may be a pain in your butt later after you spin out your painting and just show the uh, base color Sometimes they're not that bad. I mean, it just really depends on how far down the colors go. Um, so yeah, the, the the second or the first brown color was like a bronze, and this is a chestnut brown, and some more of the the this little piggy color, and yeah, cell activators. Be sure to bring your paints all back to the center. Cell activators, black and white. And then blow it out. Here's your close up of the cells forming. That's so cool. So neat. All right. Get your edges. And then after that, spin her out and see what you get. Uh, after this tile, I will show you how I mix up my my cell activators. It was real simple. Nothing, nothing crazy. Anything like that. And just looking at this one as compared to the white base one, I think I like this one better. Uh, what, what do you think? You like the black base better or the white base one? I mean, they both have their their good sides, but I like this one better. So, all right, let's close up of this and we'll get you down for a cell activator mix. All right, so this is my two cell activators. So, Amsterdam oxide black black Amsterdam titanium white. I normally do three parts of the Australian flow troll and one part paint. So here we go. We're going three three for the black and the white. And then I just use the same the same uh, measuring stick or measuring utensil and put the paint in there. It does kind of roll out a little bit easier whenever you have the flow troll in it. But since I'm making up two, I'm going to have to clean it out anyway. Um, so yeah, put it in there. Just mix it up really good. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much done. Nothing's, nothing's complicated about it. I know the U.S. version of it is a little different. And like, it takes a lot more products. I don't like using it, so this is exactly how I mix mine up. And see, I'm putting in some of the flow troll just so the paint doesn't stick that much to the utensil. Put it in there, mix it up, and yeah, it's done. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And thank you again. Take care, everybody.